Facts of Mars, and an Elgin man is told to stop the slumber parties for homeless during the cold, he says. Now, Elgin is a Chicago suburb, so we can pretty much figure what the political makeup is there. A suburban Chicago resident who was offering up slumber parties in his basement for homeless people in his neighborhood during dangerously cold weather said city officials had given him an ultimatum. Stop the slumber parties or the house will be condemned. They're out of their minds! You sick sons of bitches! It's okay with you if people freeze to death? This guy's at least trying to help? Uh, these people. He's spending his own money. You are some sick, sociopathic sons of bitches. I don't... You people are running Elgin. I don't have any other words. I'm sorry. You're sick, sociopathic, psycho... nutcases. I have no other words. Stop slumber parties or the house will be condemned. Greg Schiller of Elgin said began letting a group of homeless people sleep in his unfinished basement last month during brutally cold nights, offering them food, warm beverages, and a cat to sleep on while watching movies. This guy deserves a medal. And these uh, sons of bitches are running this Elgin place. They deserve, deserve to be booted out of office. I would stay up all night with them, give them coffee and stuff, and feed them. He said that adding that no drugs or alcohol were allowed in his residence during the evening events. If you, uh, people, you, if you psychos are running Elgin, have you done anything to help anyone? Have you given one penny to a charity or anything to help anyone? I doubt it! You're a bunch of sick, disgusting maggots as far as I'm concerned. I'm gonna blow my cool on this one. Last winter, Schiller opened up his garage to area homeless, but said he could no longer do so after EMTs were called to help, help a man with a heart condition. That's when he had the idea to move into his basement, complete with all the activities needed consider them simply simply slumber parties. Schiller believed city code allowed for slumber parties, but officials said there are no sleeping regulations that there are sleeping re regulations for basements, and Schiller's basement doesn't meet these requirements. While we appreciate those who volunteer to provide additional resources in the community, Mr. Schiller's house does not comply with codes and regulations that guard against potential dangers such as carbon monoxide, inadequate light and ventilation, and insufficient exits in the event of fire, city spokesperson Valley Center said in a statement. You are a cruel person, Valley Center. Schiller said city officials and police officers came to his home with a warrant, Tuesday went into his basement. There he said that he found the ceiling height too low and windows too high and too small to be in egress. 
They shut me down and said I have 24 hours to return my basement to storage and take down. They have several cats with sleeping bags for everyone, but they'll condemn the house. These are sick, diseased psychopaths. I'm, I don't care. I'm just going to say it. You, may, you can like it or not. You can be angry at me all you want. They're diseased psychopaths that are running that city. Diseased psychopaths, and they ought to be locked up. I don't care. I'm going to say it. Center confirmed that Schiller was given 24 hours to clear the basement in an email statement, adding, if not, city will take additional enforcement action to compel the removal of unwanted, unlawful basement sleeping area. Officials had early threatened citations for other violations at home, which was owned by Schiller's girlfriend, <coughs> including a broken window, pulled up trailer on the property, and portable toilet, and set up for the group to use. Trying to help these people get out of the cold, he told NBC5, that's not a lot of help. There's not a lot of help for them as far as places to lay their heads. Children said the only open basement when an area shelter wasn't available. Now, this goes on and on. I'm going to break this down. These psychopathic morons that are running this place, they're psychos. You know, I said they're psychos, but here's the deal. They, were, they have no problem with the idea of seeing those homeless people just freeze to death, that way they're rid of the problem. They're not trying to do anything to get the people off the street and rehabilitated! They don't care! These are white elitist liberals living in their ivory towers! I'm sick of it! This goes on and on, like I said, uh, that's all I'm really going to do, uh, as far as this goes, so a piggy award goes out to the city of Elgin, which is, once again, it's a Chicago suburb, for wanting to see all those people freeze to death. That's what they want. These are cruel people. They have no feelings. <coughs> they have no conscience. I'm sorry I screamed so much. My uh, voice is going on me. They have no feelings. They have no conscience. They don't care. And most likely they're liberals. I'm always. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Now you can't even help people. You're being told you can't even help people. The only way you can help them is by uh, opening up your wallet. You get personally involved with them, you're screwed. I've seen other stories where people aren't allowed to feed, help feed people. These are psych These are sick psychos. I can't handle it anymore. I, I have to go... Piggy Award goes out to the city of El Elgin.